what's going on guys, this is Devin from Safe Haven Music and today we're checking out the brand new American Series Solus SL2MG. <laughs> As we've seen, the American Series line of Jacksons keeps growing. They've had the first American Series Solos, which were an HSS combination of pickups with Super Duncans in them. Then they had the Virtuoso, which was a bolt-on, of course, with some other Super Duncans. And now we're back with another uh, soloist, but this time we're going with an HH combination of EMGs with, of course, you have your Floyd Rose, but we have a hardtail in the mix. So we're gonna talk about that real soon, too. <laughs> really love these new American series soloists. Of course, they're continuing with using the thumb wheel adjustment for the truss rod, leaving the uh, truss rod covers for the truss rod behind the pass because, I mean, like, these days, just to adjust the truss rod, it's way easier to get a rod and just stick it into the thumb wheel adjustment and just adjust it rather than taking off the truss rod cover with the screwdriver. It's a lot of hassle, and honestly, it means just moving the the guitar around a lot more just to get the same thing done. We have it in a couple different colors. Of course, we have the Mad Army Drab Green, we have the Black Satin, and we have this amazing Lambo Orange Metallic. The Hardtail and the Floyd Rose both come in the Black and the Mad Army Drab, uh, but the Orange only comes in the Floyd Rose variety, which we were all sitting here like, well, I mean, if they made a Hardtail Orange, I mean, I'd buy it, that's for sure. But uh, it doesn't have to come out today, doesn't have to come out tomorrow, but I mean, where's mine, Jackson? We, we want to buy some. So, of course, with these being a Jackson, they have a very classic set of Jackson specs. We have a maple neck going into a uh, neck through construction of a outer body. We have an EMG set, 8185s. We have a regular three-way um, blade switch with volume and a tone. We have our Floyd Rose 1500 that has the upgraded stainless steel parts on it, which really help because it'll make the hardware last so much longer. And then we have up on top of the headstock, classic lock and go to tuners, keeps everything in tune perfectly. I have them on a couple of my guitars too, because Jackson has been putting them a lot of their, uh, on a lot of their guitars lately, and they just seem to work really well. And they're actually pretty close to the headstock too, so they create a really good break angle once they leave the nut. And if you notice too, they have again, the upside down Jackson uh, shark tooth inlays. I really like the upside down effect because when you have the Jackson inlay upside down, even though it's got like the longer part of the top, it creates almost like this, like half block inlay effect. Like, I don't know if you see it, I kind of do a little bit, but I think it kind of adds a little bit more of a uh, prestige and higher end look to the Jackson fretboard just entirely. It looks really cool on all of these guitars. With this Lambo orange metallic specifically, I love the sheen on this color. It's like this orange metallic with this kind of gold pearlescence to the top layer of the uh, paint. And it just looks so crazy and the light. Very cool, like deep yet bright at the same time. They did a really good job with the, co with the color. Of course, these all have ebony fretboards with stainless steel frets, and we have our Lumine side dots for good measure. With the Floyd version, really has like a very classic uh, Jackson soloist sound, but something about the hardtail, this is kind of uh, a combination that Jackson doesn't do often at all, if anything, like ever. With the Hipshot hardtail bridge, the base plate is actually brass, and that on top of the body itself creates so much resonance. And you'll hear it when I actually play it in the, in the demo that it actually has almost a bit more of a brilliance to it. <laughs>
the brass is adding a lot more like this high mid focus that uh, adds such a like bigger punch to the sound, especially when it comes to like Jackson's in general. Usually they're a brand that's kind of throwing a Floyd Rose in all their guitars, but to see them throw a hardtail hip shot bridge on a soloist, especially in an American line, is a big sign that they're listening to the people. We're moving into a landscape where people, not everybody's shredding these days. There's a lot of people that want to play rhythm guitar. There's a lot of people that don't want to, I guess, mess with the Floyd Roses because they're either not using the tremolo or they just need something that's going to be um, a bit more stable in tune or even just the ability to adjust the tuning without having to reset the whole bridge because usually when you have a Floyd Rose if you leave it in a tuning you're pretty much stuck in that tuning unless you want to reset the claw to anything even if you're in a drop D if it's floating then you have to um, reset up the bridge to acclimate it but for the hardtail you can set it in whatever you want at any time but it makes for a great player's guitar. It, it's a little bit more lightweight because you don't have the trem in there, of course. And again, the, br the brilliance on the hip shot bridge is nothing to compare it to. It sounds huge. I, they're my favorite um, hardtail bridge. And you can feel the liveliness when you actually get down and uh, play a lot of the harder rhythms with it. <laughs> The hardtail, in my opinion, is definitely probably one of my favorites among this line. This would be an amazing guitar for playing on stage. It's super light, you can run around with these, and even in the studio, because they have um, a really big and punchy sound. So for our signal chain today, we're going through a quad cortex using the 6505 model, and um, the cab sim in place is a, is a Marshall 412 from the 90s with V30s, so it has a really good sound, especially for like Jacksons like this metal all the way. This has been Devin from Safe Haven Music checking out the brand new American Series Solus SL2MGs. We have all of them in stock. Order them today. Check out our website. We have a lot of cool guitars in stock coming in. It's 2024. New guitars keep coming. Let's see them.